ultimately one of these teams is not going to have the highest score. One of these teams is going to have the lowest score. I'm going to let you guys know. Even if your team is going to be the lowest one on, the here, on this list here, I'm still probably going to have a dynasty with them. What is up, everybody? It is Jake back with the MF Film Room. Thank you so much for being here. If you guys want to be up to date on all things EA College Football, hit that red subscribe button. Remember, I'm having a special right now. If I can get this channel to 1,000 subs by July 14th at midnight, Mountain Standard Time, I will be getting one free deluxe edition of the game for one of my subscribers. Xbox, PlayStation, doesn't matter. And if you've already got the game pre-ordered, I'll give you $100 cash. So hit that red subscribe button, also hit the like button as well, and follow me on Twitter slash X. And if you like college football content, go subscribe to my other channel, Master Football with Jake Posey, link in the description. But enough about all that EA college football content, let's go. All right, guys, we're sitting here just waiting for the, any news to come out. I had said before, I was like, you know, dude, they've got a couple of days ago, or like, I want to say last week, I was like, oh, we got six Fridays, we're going to have an update every Friday, we're going to have this, that, boom, 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 boom. And so far we've gotten... Not a lot in the last couple of days. Do I suspect anything's going to come out over the weekend? Probably not, but we're going to have some sort of update at some point. Up until that point, all we have is just an update from GameStop. So GameStop is running what they're calling the Homecoming Pack, where they give you a little locker, they give you football, give you a jersey, and then, of course, you obviously get the game as well. So that's a little interesting thing there, but beyond that, we haven't really gotten much news. So what I wanted to do is do something here because with this game, there's going to be 134 FBS teams in this game. So you think about the last time we had this game, there was 126. There are nine new FBS teams. You're like, well, that doesn't add up to 100. Well, 126 plus nine is 135. One of them is no longer with us. That is the Idaho Vandals. Now, what I want to do is go through this because it's interesting to see these teams. All these teams right now that we're going to be going over are in both the Sun Belt and Conference USA. What we're going to do is we're going to judge these teams on which ones would be the funnest ones to take over as a team. Let's get into that. All right, so we have those nine teams here. Then again, that is App State, Charlotte, Coastal Carolina, Georgia Southern, Jacksonville State, James Madison, Kennesaw State, Liberty, and Sam Houston State. We're going to be judging them on three different areas, their stadium, their jerseys, and their roster. Some people say, oh, yeah, what about their playbooks? I haven't, I don't have access to that. I'm just talking about what will be interesting to see from those. What we're going to do is it's going to be golf score. Lowest score is going to win. One is the highest score. Nine is the lowest score. Ultimately, one of these teams is not going to have the highest score. One of these teams is going to have the lowest score. I'm going to let you guys know. Even if your team is going to be the lowest one on, the here, on this list here, I'm still probably going to have a dynasty with him. All right, up first is Kid Brewer Stadium for App State, and I'm, I'm just going to let you guys know right now, this is one of the coolest backdrops in all of college football. Again, you see the fact that from the, the nuts and bolts of the stadium, it's pretty basic here. Dude, look at that Look at that view right there with the the you know the fall trees in the background, and and the, it's just, that is an incredible look. Yeah, you do have the, the, the track around it, which is, you know, it's, it's whatever. But looking at this right here, like, I think they've actually gotten rid of that there. This is such a cool stadium with that backdrop. Imagine that within those amazing graphics out there for the game. This is going to be one of the coolest stadiums in the game. All right, up next is UNC Charlotte's Jerry Richardson Stadium. And for this stadium here, this is the newer version of it, what they're going to do here with this $100 million facilities plan. Again, most of these stadiums, they are trying to update these to make them cooler. But you see the fact it's got this little lower bowl. You know, it's not going to have, you're not going to have 80,000 screaming fans. You got that cool little end zone thing there. It's a, it's a decent enough stadium. Again, nothing spectacular. When they update it, it is going to look cool. But for right now, the stadium looks like that. All right, up next is Brooks Stadium with Benton Field. And for this one, again, same thing here. You've got two decks there, which is kind of cool. You see they've got the road there on one side of it. But the stadium, again, nuts and bolts of the stadium is okay. But you got that teal turf. Now, some people might say, oh, my God, I don't like teal turf. I don't care. I think teal turf is awesome, especially when they wear those teal on teals with this. You got the student section right there. This is a pretty cool stadium. All right, up next is Georgia Southern Stadium, and Georgia Southern Stadium is, is, is all right. You know, you've got some, you know, you've got these two little bowls there. It's it's not bad. It's kind of an interesting little look there. You've got these these big grass patches where people can sit on the games. You see those grass patches right there. So it's it's a pretty cool stadium. They added that upper deck, as you can see, that was the previous way, and now they added that upper deck there. So again, not bad, not great. You got the water tower in the back there. Oh yeah, good old college town. But you know, it's it's all right. 
All right, up next, we have Burgess Snowfield for Jackson State's Stadium. And as you can see here, and I wasn't sure, I believe it's actually this end zone here where you're actually going to see through some of the construction that they're trying to add here. That is the look that it's going to end up with. Again, $80 million renovation. You see most of these stadiums. As you can see right now, that is kind of a competition to see who has the best facilities in these things or who has adequate facilities. This is not a bad little spot. you got the rolling hills in the background there. And especially if you add that little look around the outside, it's going to be a really cool look from the inside of the stadium. Not bad. All right, up next is Bridge Forth Stadium at Zane Shoker Field, and I will let you guys know, this is one of the cooler ones here. First of all, that, that look right there with those fall weather trees is going to be such a cool look within the game. You also see they've got this, they've got a, a, a side over here, which is a little bit lower. they got a side over here, and then they have this, they have one quarter of an NFL stadium is what they have. It's kind of interesting there. You also see the body of water behind there. I think this is one of the more interesting stadiums in the entire college football world, especially considering the fact that they're going to be this is going to be their second year in FBS football. All right, up next is Fifth Third Stadium. Now think about this. This is going to be the first ever. I mean, the first time people are seeing this as an FBS stadium is going to be in this game because Kennesaw State is the only brand new team to FBS football. They are joining Conference USA. You see the fact this is actually a soccer stadium. It's, it's multi-purpose, obviously, but it's kind of a cool little intimate environment here. Again, very similar to UNC Charlotte with the lower bowl there. Just one bowl all the way around, a really intimate environment. It's one of the smaller stadiums in college football at this point. I think that you know the athletic complex for where Hawaii plays football is technically smaller, although in the game, it's going to be a generic stadium so this actually might be the smallest stadium in the game but again really cool little environment atlanta georgia not bad all right up next is williams stadium now i know you might be getting mad at me here when i say oh yeah well you know you've got the, that grass field where you know for georgia southern but i'm going to give a lot of praise here for this field because although liberty has the grass sections as well it just fits a little bit better it looks like it's a little bit more put together everybody knows that liberty is an absolute they have as much money if you don't guys don't understand what liberty they have as much money as you can just pick a number they have is that much money because of how much of an online presence that they have this is a pretty cool stadium here so again they, that's what they're rendering of what they're going to have for the major facelift up until that point this is what the stadium looks like right here and last but not least here with sam houston state is bowers stadium i will let you guys know this is one of the more again they say they're kicking it up a notch they're gonna add some new things of course they are because unfortunately for them right now it's kind of a bland stadium. You got two sides, you got a track, you know, you got there's some trees maybe in the background there, but it's not necessarily a fantastic stadium, but you know, whatever. I mean, it's it's cool because it's it's pretty small. So again, I'm probably going to play with this stadium at some point. However, is it one of my favorites? Not really. All right, so after ranking all those, I have number one, App State, love that. Number two, James Madison, three, Liberty, four, Coastal Carolina, five, Jacksonville State, and then Kennesaw State, Charlotte, Georgia Southern, and Sam Houston State. All right, up first on the jerseys here, we have App State. And you guys know me. I, I love me some, with all blacks. Those are sick. So you look here, we've got all black. We've got you, that gold or yellow. I don't know exactly what it is. We got that white. You know, we've got a couple. We got some grays in there. Again, I don't know how many of these are that. First of all, with the Mountaineers on there and the Mountaineer on the side, I actually think it's kind of cool. I do not know how much of this is going to be in the game, but I do know that if they have alternates, if they have historical jerseys, they're going to have plenty to pick from for the App State Mountaineers. All right, another big time contender here is UNC Charlotte, and again for them, they've got the uh, almost like a little bit of Notre Dame colors. With they got the green, they got the gold. They don't have the blue, obviously, but you see this man. This is these are some pretty sick jerseys here. And again, you come down here and check this out. You've got the the uh, you know reflective helmets there with the reflective fa face masks. One of my favorite looks is this one. This is one of my favorite looks that with the white pants and the gold jersey. God damn. That is one of the coolest jersey combos out there. Again, UNC Charlotte going to be a contender with these jerseys. All right, up next is Coastal Carolina. And I actually love the teal. The teal and the black is pretty cool. So you can go all black, all teal, all white in some way there. They've got some of the, a little bit of that matte look here. And when you have that teal on teal for these games here, I think it's going to be awesome. So some people don't like the teal. Personally, make me a teal on teal. I'm a Boise State fan with that blue on blue. I love the combo here. All right, up next is Georgia Southern, and the Georgia Southern's standard jersey kind of looks like a like a Penn State knockoff, literally like with that right there. However, they do have some some gray in here. They got a little bit of grays. They got some blues. They got some white pants. You could do a couple different things here. You see that little gold down the side the side there. So not bad here. But again, I, the problem that I'm worried about is I'm worried that it's going to basically default to this, where it's basically you got the numbers on the side of the helmet, and you basically just look at like Penn State. 
but with a blue helmet versus a white one. All right, now Jacksonville State is interesting here because Jacksonville State's jerseys that recently have been looked like this, or it's basically you got some red and you got some white, and that's basically it there. They might have a little bit of black here. They might have some alternates there, but for the most part, I see a lot of the red and the white, maybe white pants, maybe red pants, but for the most part, that is the variance that you're looking for in these jerseys here. So again, we'll see what they do, but so far it looks like that, or it's probably going to look like that. All right, up next is an, another contender here is James Madison. So James Madison, they got the purple, they got the gold, they got the white, and it looks like they have all three of them as different versions of their helmets. So you see these out here, they've got those different, you know, the different helmets. They've got the two stripes, they got the non-two stripes, they got grays. They've got a lot of stuff going on here with these jerseys. God, look at that. Look at the Dukes there, the, the, the Bulldogs on the, the, uh, the, the, the shoulders there. This is a sick amount there's so many cool things you can do with this jersey hopefully all the blacks man this is a this is a contender all right up next is kennesaw state and we haven't seen a lot of kennesaw state before they've been in the fcs ranks but we see what they have here so again they've got that they got that black they got that gold or yellow gold i don't really non-metallic gold and then they have white but also you see a couple things here got a little bit of those grays right there so you got some gray pants so there's a couple things you do with the that's a sick look right there dude so looking at this here, not bad with these. You guys tell me you like them. I personally do, man. But Kennesaw State, not a bad option so far. All right, up next is Liberty, the Liberty Flames. So they kind of got those Houston Texans jerseys with those, the uh, navy blue and then the red and the white. Not bad. Got the red version there. Then they've got a little bit. You can go all whites, all blues, all reds. Lots of variants here with what these guys have. I personally love it. Whether or not they're going to have the historical jerseys or not, we'll see. But again, I, I don't know if they're going to have crazy stuff like that. But again, this is a pretty sick combo. Oh, look at Malik Willis right there. What's up, man? All right, and last but not least is Sam Houston State. And for Sam Houston State, very, very simple here, especially with the new jerseys that they have here. So when they're in the, these are the Southland jerseys that they had. They're kind of basic here. Again, just basically just orange and nothing, orange and white. Back in the day, they had a little bit of accents of blue here. You see these accents of blue for those Southland jerseys. But for the most part, what you're looking at when you're in Conference USA is just going to be, there they are on the whack right there. If they have those, those are wild. Those are actually, I'd love to have those in the game. But for the most part, you're probably just going to get Get the orange and then the white. All right, talking about jerseys here, you guys know me. I love me some Charlotte. Charlotte was number one for me. James Madison was close. Uh, and then we had Liberty, Kennesaw State, Coastal Carolina, App State, Georgia Southern, Jacksonville State, and then ending off with Sam Houston State. Sam Houston State, don't get take it the wrong way. You got two nines right there, but I, I, I still appreciate you. I, I, you know I'm probably going to be you guys as a team in, in Dynasty. All right, up next is the win totals for these teams. Just to kind of see, again, I'm judging the Sun Belt and Conference USA as similar with each other. They're not too different. I think that the Sun Belt is probably a more complete league, although Liberty did go to BCS game last year or a New Year's Six. They didn't do very well, but they went. So we're going to see right now what the projected wins over unders are for these teams to see what kind of the strength of, of teams they have. All right, so first up here is App State, and they are actually a favorite to go over seven and a half wins. So right now we're guessing seven and a half, a seven and five, or eight and four is probably what they're looking at, leaning towards eight and four. That's what we got for them so far. Up next is Charlotte, and unfortunately Charlotte is not necessarily going to have a great season this year. So they are minus 140 on three and a half. What that means is that they are a slight favorite to go over three and a half wins. So they're projected to go four and eight, a 50-50 shot to go four and eight. Basically, it may be a little bit higher than 50-50. But for them, not a great looking year this upcoming season. Up next is Coastal Carolina, and for them, they are a small favorite to go over six and a half wins. So for them, six and six or seven and five, an average team there in that Sun Belt Conference. Up next is Georgia Southern, and for them, five and a half, but it's actually favored to go under. So you would get a little bit of a bonus there, plus 125. You put down 100, you would win 124. For them, over five and a half would be the better payoff. So we'll... We'll see what they have for them, but again, so that means for them, five and seven, six and six is probably what we're looking at for them this next season. Up next is Jacksonville State, and for them, uh, it is a favor to go over seven and a half. So for them, eight and four is not an unrealistic game for them. They're a pretty good, decent team again. Again, they got those basic red jerseys. Stadium's got some interesting new updates that they're having, but you know, pretty good team too. All right, James Madison here, and you actually are a favorite to go under eight and a half. So for them, eight and four is the losing bet on betting the over. But so for them, eight and four or nine and th three, somewhere around there, pretty good team for them. 
All right, up next we have Kennesaw State, and they actually don't even register here, but I'm, I'm going off this. I know that, from what I understand, they have the least likelihood chance of winning the, <laughs> the national championship. So for them, they're over under two and a half. I'm not even sure if I can really find it because it's technically not even here. They are going to be one of the worst teams in FBS football. Again, coming over from FCS in Atlanta, they got a small stadium, got cool jerseys, but not a great roster. All right, up next is Liberty, and for them, it is a 50-50 shot to go over. 10 and a half wins. So for them, it's 10 and two or 11 and one. If you look at their roster or look at their schedule, it's not a very difficult schedule for them. So they might be going to another New Year's six game. Man, they have a very good roster and a very manageable schedule. And last but not least is Sam Houston State. And for them, it is a favor to go over four and a half wins. So for them, four and eight is the underdog to five and seven. Still a below average conference USA team. All right, here, looking at this, so obviously the number one team in terms of roster. Roster in terms of, like, they're bad roster, so you can use them. It's it's going to be easier to take them over as opposed to taking over a team that's too good. So they're number one, Charlotte's number two, Sam Houston State number three, then Coastal Carolina, Georgia Southern, App State, Jacksonville State, James and Madison, and then Liberty down there with a over-under of 10.5. That was what Michigan had last year. And last but not least here, my final tally for these teams. The teams... The new teams that I'm looking forward to most using in the game. Honestly, I'm going to let you guys know. I'm going to use all these teams. But for me personally, based on my scoring here, number one is Charlotte. Awesome jerseys. Not a great roster. Stadiums, whatever. But again, pretty cool jerseys there. Two, Kennesaw State. And then James Madison. James Madison, they're a pretty good team, though. So we'll see how that works. App State, Coastal Carolina, Liberty, Georgia Southern, Jacksonville State, and then ending with Sam Houston State. Unfortunately for Sam Houston State, they didn't have a great stadium. The jerseys are kind of boring. But again, I'm probably still going to be them at the end of the day. So th those nine new teams that we have, App State, Charlotte, Coastal Carolina, Georgia Southern, Jacksonville State, James Madison, Kennesaw State, Liberty, Sam Houston State, which one are you most likely to take over first for your dynasty? Me personally, you saw my scoring right there. UNC Charlotte, I love me some of that. Kennesaw State looks pretty cool too. And James Madison rosters might be pretty decent, but jerseys are awesome. Stadium's awesome. I love everything about James Madison so far. All right, guys, get in the comments right now and let me know what you guys think about all that. Again, let me know what your criteria is, which ones you're most interested in looking forward to, which ones you're not. You guys get in the comments and let me know. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for being here. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Do all that stuff. I really appreciate it. Remember, if you subscribe now and I get to 1,000 subs by July 14th at Midnight Mountain Standard Time, I'll be getting one of my subscribers a free deluxe copy of the game. Xbox or PlayStation, doesn't matter. And if you've already got the game, I'll give you $100 cash. So hit that red subscribe button, and beyond all that, guys, I'll see you guys later. I am out.